right. <laughs> we're, we're rolling. All right. Hey, this is Future Man. We're sitting here with the maestro. And uh, this is our first time meeting. Mm -hmm. And I'm just, you know, we're just going to get a few words letting you guys know that, you know, we got two creative minds. And we're just wanting to do something really special for Black History Month, man. And uh, so I just want to get Maestro to say a few words and, you know, just kind of talk about your where you're coming from and what the people are going to see. And... Well, one, one thing I, I'm very excited about, you know, getting this opportunity to participate in this whole thing. Um, I think it's an amazing thing what you're doing here, uh, trying to, we're, we're at a forum where we're presenting to people how blacks have been inspired or influenced different musical cultures, uh, especially when it comes to classical, because we, we rarely hear about that in, um, in any of the books. Well, I should say you have to dig deep to get those kind of books. But um, it's cool for me because uh, coming from somewhat of the classical era for me when I was in college, did a lot of classical pieces. Like one of my favorite composers is Beethoven. Um, just from his emotion that he puts in his music, you know, it's just... It's uh, you can when you're playing his his pieces, you feel like you're there, and you you really understand what he's saying. Um, but also interesting, you know, about him is his history, which I will be talking about a lot uh, at the at uh, at the program. Yeah, and I'm just talking about where he's come from, what he brought to classical music. Uh, one big thing that he is known for is, is his rhythms. You know, prior to that, you know, it was a lot of just straightforward things in the classical era. But he brought these rhythms. And so I'm like, okay, well, how is this guy coming up with this kind of stuff? Where is he bringing this from? And, and it's, I don't know if I should give it away now about how, where, he's, where he's getting a lot of these things yeah, they, from. They got to come to the show. Yeah, they, they got to come to the show to kind of really find out. Um where he, I mean, I, I'll say this, you know, where he, where he's, where, uh, where his lineage lies, where is, you know, you should look, definitely we'll look at his mother, um, uh, and that's all I want to say about that, because I don't want to give it all the way right all now, right. but it's, it's definitely interesting how he brings what he, his influence or whatever, that, you know, that he has to the, yeah. the, the world of classical music. Interesting, man. And the name Maestro. <laughs> The name Maestro, I, I'll explain this. This came from my mother. Uh, I I'm probably about five years older, maybe. You know, just real young. You know, mothers have insight, you know, on all their kids. And, you know, I just know, remember as a young kid, you know, she would just say, wake up, Maestro, it's time to get up. I mean, my real name is Melvin, but she, all these years before I touched the piano, before I beat on the pots and pans, she was calling me that, and I had no idea. I was like... Oh, my name is Melvin. She can't even say my own name right, you know. So, she uh, she has been saying that since I've been young, and then around high school, I was like, man, that's a cool nickname. So I started, you know, just trying to just going by that, mm -hmm. and now I just I use it more not to say like, okay, he said, oh, he's he's you know thinking he's cocky, or he's a maestro, but also just um, an everyday reminder of what. I should be doing in life as far as when it comes to music, you know, being excellent, you know, going, going beyond what has been done. I mean, such as yourself, you know, and so it's like when somebody says that to me, you know, hey, maestro or calling me, it's a constant reminder of, you know, do things not subpar, not average, but mm -hmm. to the highest quality that you can. Nice, nice. It's uh, funny. Beethoven was like that. That reminds me because they said, Beethoven, you can't write a symphony, you know, half an hour. So he wrote one an hour. You know what I mean? Sorry. So he was one of them guys. So yeah. So we need to break. Okay. Well, cool. Um, I think we got thirty seconds. Anything else you want to tell them? Just come to the show. Yeah, come to the show. Come get enlightened about all the music that this world has seen, and yeah. you're gonna love it. Yeah, and you're gonna have like what? You got you got some strings yeah, I'm coming? To, yeah, I'm trying to bring a choir um, mm -hmm. and a full band just to really kind of give yeah. what was going on. So. Nice. Nice, nice. So it's going to be a good night of music. And um, I just want to say, too, before the camera goes out, that uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. This they is our know. first time meeting today. Yeah. And uh, we're over <laughs> Don and Mary Ellen's house, and we're looking at the history, and we got some good, juicy stuff. And uh, I just like how we can do this thing in Black History Month where we're not just talking about athletes and mm -hmm. not just talking about the common things, but we're going to go into this culture. And um, so we're getting ready to bring Don into the picture and, uh, <laughs> and give you a little bit more... Uh, highlights of where we're going with this. All right? Stay tuned. Yeah.